Hi, I'm William Gallagher, and joining me today is Paul Gandy. He's a photographer for Rebels247.com and also Game Time Rebels Magazine. You can see some of his fine work right here, as he did the centerfold for this magazine here. Paul, nice to have you today. Well, thanks. Good Glad to, see to be you. here. So we're going to ask you a few questions about your passion here, and that's being a photographer. Mm -hmm. So, what is it like being a photographer? Well, it's uh, sometimes it's it's a pressure-filled job because you're sent out to a location, and you got to get that perfect shot in a small amount of time before, well, for example, where the sun sets or that kind of thing. So, you know, it's something you got to be ready to do in a moment's notice. You've got to capture that moment. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so, how did you get into photography? Um, well, a long time ago, I guess, about 11th grade, my mom decided to give me a camera, and I just kind of messed around with it there. And from then on, I kind of just fell in love with it. I went to college, and I pursued a Bachelor of Fine Arts, and there I took a few photography classes. And it's just something that I kind of held on to from college, and something I just pursued, and it's kind of taken me a long way. It's, it's, it's a good thing. I like it. It's, it's something fun. It's always evolving. It's, it's very interesting. And, you know, obviously looking at your work here, uh, how has your work improved since you started in the 11th grade till now? Well, just composition's improved, uh, just lighting has improved, just all around knowledge of the subject, I've just grown a whole lot. It's just through experience and through working with clients and everything, it's just Definitely. all helped me evolve as a photographer and learn a lot more about the subject itself. Well, speaking of that, this obviously looks like a memorable photo shoot, but there has to be at least one or something that sticks out in particular to you about a photo shoot that you've had? Yeah, it's not necessarily a photo shoot that sticks out. It's more of, um, I was asked to shoot a wedding, so that, that that's something that was very nerve-wracking to try and tackle. It was uh, a lot more meaningful. Was, yeah, for sure. It was a friend of mine, and she wanted me to just capture her special day, and it was it was so nerve-wracking running around trying to make sure I get the right shot, capture all of the moments, and get everything correctly, and then I had to run home and edit the photos and get everything ready, and just make sure that she's happy when she sees them. I don't want to be like, oh no. Especially for this. somebody that you know. Yeah, it's, I want to make sure I do a good job so that she was happy. So it was, it was just something that really sticks in my mind. Is I want to make sure I, I nailed the moment, you know, got it all right. Oh, definitely. Well, that's for somebody's hands. But your work has also been published in magazines. How does that feel to have your work published in magazines? It, it's a bit nerve wracking at times. Uh, for example, I just did a, a swimsuit issue and I. Just hearing the feedback sometimes, you don't know if they're gonna like it or if they're just gonna be like, oh, he, he didn't get this right or whatever. You know, it's. And you're one of the final guys to get to make the approval, correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the editor makes the final final decision, but I go through and I, I I sift through all the photos and make sure we get the ones that are technically sound, and then have good poses and all that kind of thing. But it's still nerve wracking to get your photo in a magazine, have a lot of eyes on it, and a lot of judgmental people sometimes. You know, <laughs> it, it's something. Gotta get used to, I guess. You know? So obviously your work is very impressive, but as somebody who knows a lot about critique, what kind of critiques do you give yourself, and if there is any, what can you improve on, and how? Well, I'm my hardest critic for sure. I, I want to make sure I get everything uh, perfect. I want to achieve for perfection, but as we all know, that's something that's <laughs> okay. very, very hard to do. You know, it's, I want to make sure the lighting is great, the image is razor sharp if, if it has to be. And, I just want it all to, to look good. I want you to look at the image and go, wow, that's cool. And then look at the background and see some cool stuff and everything that connects and brings everything together to make a real one cohesive image. Now, you have just begun your career as a photographer. Where do you see this taking you in your future? Well, I can see it taking me into sports photography. That's a lot of fun. That's, that's something that's very um, interactive as, say, you're running around trying to make sure you're in the right position to anticipate the play that's happening. Yeah, it's definitely a fun field to be in. Yeah, for sure. Or I can see myself getting into fine art photography where you spend a lot of time working on one image or a series of images to portray a story. And I, I think that would be very, just very rewarding. And I'd like to have a gallery show, that kind of thing. And let people come you know, enjoy the artwork and possibly take some home and put it in their house and have it displayed for all to see. So, it's been very interesting. Well, today we have learned a little bit more about photography. And I thank you, Paul for joining me today. Thank you, sir. And once again, he works for Rebels247.com and also in the magazine here of Game Time Rebels. I'm William Gallagher, and thank you very much.